Welcome to another edition of Robins Fans TV. Uh, my name is James Barrett Sterling. We're here at Prince's Park. As you can see, the boys are warming up in the background for a three o'clock kickoff against Thamesmead Town today. I've been joined by John Kistner, who uh, fans will recognise. Hello there. Um, John, been on a fantastic run of form recently, haven't we? What can you put it down to? Uh, I think growing in confidence all round. Uh, the goal from the goalkeeper right through to centre forward. The goalkeeper, Billy Bishop, has been absolutely outstanding. Uh, against Hive Town, he won 4-0. He made four world-class saves in that game and got uh, joint man of the match with uh, our new signing, Amar. Um, so, but the confidence in the lads on the ball, I think, is the big thing. Their passing's improved and I think the, the, their possession play is a lot better than it was. Got back to where we were at the beginning of the season more and we've taken a bit of a nosedive but now we're playing a lot more confidence. That's what I was going to say actually, it seems that we've gone back to the start of the season where we're banging in a lot of goals, um, still conceding one or two but we're still winning by virtue of scoring more, yeah. uh, so it's good to see. Absolutely, I mean um, it's, the goals are coming, Mikel Miller's scoring a lot this season, Tommy okay is not but Amar's come in and he scored four in one game, he carries on doing that, he'd be leading goal scorer in the league. I, 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 I said to him just the three today would be alright to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <so>. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and uh, six two in the Surrey Senior Cup on, on Monday night but even people like Jordan are still chipping in with goals as well so it's important to get them from all over the park. Absolutely I mean it's a bit of a, a very quiet game it's only 60 people there to watch it but uh, and a cold evening at that but again we, we played well 3-0 up came back to 3-2 the other team but then we went again and um, we just they just got tired too tired at the end and we just went through them. So what are your thoughts on, on today? Um, Thamesmead are sitting 11th at the moment in the league, they, but their home form is very good. Um, how do you see it going? Well, we're 5th, they're 11th, um, but there's only a matter of four, five, six points between us. Um, so it's not a lot. Um, they're good at home. They've Thamesmead Town are very good at home. They've won most of their, I think their last eight games, they've won or drawn. Uh, so it's going to be a tough one today. Said that against Hythe, would have been happy to come away from Hythe with a point. Today I'd be happy to come away from Thamesmead with a point. If we get three, it'd be a bonus. And, but the way we're playing, I think, you know, it, we could do. We could do. And that they've got an old familiar face up top for Thamesmead if he starts today, Paul Vines. be nice to see him back as long as he doesn't score, of course. Yeah, nice lad. Used to play for Carshorton, as, as we know. Um, centre forward for Carshorton. Great player. Great uh, temperament. Yeah, it'd be good to see him again. Come on, Come on. Straight line, Rick. Straight line, Rick. Where you are? Where you are? Go on. Go on again. Yeah, you're not better off the floor. 
Robins Fans TV, I'm James Barrett Sterling after the thrilling 3 2 win at Thamesmead Town. Caught your breath yet, Christian? Just about, just about. It was amazing. It had everything that game. It's an emotional roller coaster for the fans completely. But so glad to come away with the win. It was unfortunate to lose Billy Bishop, and we, we as all the fans, send our best wishes to him and hope for a speedy recovery. But kudos to Reese Kane, Cave, sorry. He came in and he's done an absolutely brilliant job. Unlucky with one of the goals, but if you're not a goalkeeper and you're stepping in, some difficult shoes to fill. So, Overall, we're really, really happy. Yeah, of course, we all wish uh, Billy all the best. But when the, when we knew that we had to bring in an, a, a goalkeeper from the, the ranks, was, did anyone from the fans put their hands up? Was there like a call out for anyone? Well, I, I don't know. I could have done it, couldn't I? I, I played goal for Ashton Vets, but I'm probably a bit old and wouldn't be able to keep up with some of the players in this league. Well, probably all of them, not some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not really for the fans. We were just... I think Calvin was mentioned a few times, but um, obviously Calvin doesn't quite have the height, does he, really? I'm sure he's probably pretty good in goal, but Reese isn't particularly tall either, but he came in and he'd done a job for us. Yeah, Calvin went in goal uh, during one of the games last season right, uh, okay. for like a 20-minute period or something like that, so mm. I think that's why. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. But no, it's good that Reese came in and, you know, as a result, I'm sure he's trying to get sort of cement his place in the team and, you know, the fans will definitely remember him from this and I'm sure he's taken a lot of confidence from it as well. Now, it was an inspired substitution by Peter Adonaisi to bring in uh, Raheem Sterling Parker. Yep. Got the equalising goal and he got the assist on Ricky's as well. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it's good to have those options on the bench, you know, with Omar coming in now and um, with um, Raheem as well and with Peter on the bench and with Calvin coming back we've got a lot of options we'll have Paris coming back soon as well so yeah it's really good we it's actually nice to not be kind of like really worried and having to dip into the academy for players and in all the big games that we're playing and stuff like that but saying that uh, the game on Monday against Egham Town we saw some really good academy prospects come in and play and you know the future's bright so it's really really good Robins Fan TV, I'm joined by Russell, one of our staunch supporters who comes to uh, nearly every game home and away. Russell, has your heart stopped beating after that one? Just about. I, I, I nearly lost my ear and I nearly lost my voice with all the singing and uh, shouting as I normally do, shouting the team. Um, but it was a terrific result in the end. Um, there was the goalkeeper when we went off injured. I thought that was a downer, but we said who was going to go in goal. It was one of the supporters Gary offered to go in goal, but he said he wouldn't. He get he might be able to save something, but if the ball goes past him, he won't be able to get up. So I'm glad he didn't go in goal. And the young go, young kid come in and done an exceptional uh, job. When you and he's not a proper goalkeeper, they do make a silly error, but then they make up for it and they make save after save and everything was superb. He'd, he'd done nothing, there was nothing wrong but by sticking him in goal, done superbly well, the goalkeeper. So, Reese, when you woke up this morning, did, in your wildest dreams, did you imagine that was going to happen today? No, not at all. I just thought I was just going to be on the bench, hopefully get on the last few minutes. But no, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Have you ever experienced anything like that before during your career? Never in my life. That was the first time. There goes Bill. Billy? All the best, mate. Cheers, Got a game Monday, yeah? <laughs> um, what went through your mind? When, were you the automatic choice, like straight away, did Peter say? Calvin, Calvin should go and go. Then I said, Pete, if you want, I'll do a job for the team. So then Pete said, Reese, can you do it? Then I said, yeah, I'll step up and do it. And, and how did you find the experience? It was just a crazy experience. Just wanted to get the three points at the end of the day. Then I even banged my head on the post for the last save, but... Yeah, I just wanted the three points. Yeah, that was, that was a blinding save, actually, to be fair. But you, you were coming out for crosses and corners as well. You weren't shy. No, I just wanted to try to get the ball as much as possible to help the defenders out and help the team get the three points again. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a big three points today, though, considering we were 2-1 down and we missed a, a penalty. How much of a, an influence did Raheem have when he came on? Raheem, you know, he's a big character. So when he comes on, he boosted the whole team, lifted them up. 
and he came on, scored one, and assisted one. So you can't ask for more. He's gave Pete a hard decision now for Monday yeah. with the two strikers. Yeah, not half. And uh, are you vying for the number one position for Monday? Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to talk to Pete about that. <laughs> Reece, thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks. Nice one. Robins Fan TV, we've now got one of our youngest uh, Robins fans joining us on the, on the channel for the first time. How old are you, Seb? Eight. Eight years old, and he's come to Thamesmead Town to cheer the boys on. What did you think of the game today? Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, we played well. Uh, I was unlucky for Billy Bishop to get um, injured when I heard it was his back, and I think Reese played well in goal. It was his um, The goal he let in was un unlucky, and... Um, well, I guess we we won the game, and so we played well. If we won the game, can we see um, Seb's shirt here? Who's who's this signed by, Seb? Uh, all the players uh, against Hive Town uh, when I was on the coach with them. Did you get Omar? Uh, no, because Omar didn't go on the coach. <laughs> the four goal hero let him down. Unbelievable! But that's great. So who have who have we got on there? I've uh, got uh, Ricky. I think Mikel. I think I've got Jordan Cheadle on there. Yeah. Um, uh, Billy Bishop. Is that is that Chad's? Uh, yeah. Is that that's the kit man, isn't it? Yeah. What's he doing on there? Uh, I just wanted him to be on there. <laughs> there you go, Gary Chadwick. You got you got a fan. You got a fan. Seb, thanks, mate. Thanks for joining us on Robin's TV. Do si do. <laughs> uh, Paul, what was the overriding feeling in the dressing room after that one today? Obviously, we're disappointed. We started with the lead early on, um, and we felt we started well. Considering we, we're pretty good starters, but obviously, a little bit of complacency um, kicks in, and you find yourself on the back foot at times. And it's that's what it, the issue with. I think you'll find a lot of teams in this league is keeping that consistency throughout, whether it's during the 90 minutes or week by week. Right. It's, it's going to be key for anybody who wants to mount a real sort of go at the league title. So. Um, we're just working hard for that, and um, I suppose at the end of it, it's, yeah, it's disappointment. It's, it would be the eye of thinking that we probably could have come away with more if we had stuck to our guns and done as we were told. Um, yeah, um, I, you probably don't know the young lad that went in goal for Carl Short and when their keeper went off, but he's he's a midfielder by trade. We, we kind of, yeah, we, we had an idea, obviously, that he, that wasn't his um, his normal role, and obviously sometimes that sort of bit of information can sway you from your normal type of game because everybody thinks oh we've got to shoot, got to shoot, got to shoot right. from range and here and there the pressure is on almost that you should be able to score that much easier but you when you deflect from what you're good at and try to make opportunities the right way and you're forcing the, the game sometimes it, it works against you and I think today that sort of that definitely happened I think really yeah uh, you didn't get on the score sheet today but where did your captain pull that one out from that was a blinder I think <laughs> again we, because of I had a shot late on in the first half that Lino flagged for offside and it was very similar straight into him but through it through the body yeah. and we were kind of just saying obviously if we can hit the target um, and concentrate on that we'll get scraps or perhaps what, things will slip through and um, and he the opportunity knocked and he, he took it so <laughs> he'll probably be talking about that for a little while now so um, uh, only your second defeat in six though um, you haven't been conceding too many either so uh, although it is disappointing today have you been happy with like the form of recent yeah I think we without really sort of hitting top form we've, we've come away with some good results and that's what that's at times is more pleasing than playing really well and getting up, uh, getting a result where you deserve it it's it can show you the sign of a good team if you can nick results when you're not quite performing to your full potential. And that's been us. Like I say, we're trying to find that consistency to sort of get us up and amongst it and stay amongst it. Um, it's not as easy as that because I say this, this league, it seems everybody's beating each other. Quick casuals go top and smash somebody, uh, Lewis, and then the next week they lose to Phoenix, who we beat 5 2. Yeah. So it's, it's the ebbs and flows of this league are quite drastic. So. Um, yeah, consistency, like I say, I think it's, um, that's going to be key if we can sort of, and we're quite short on players, to be honest as well, which affects you when you can't really influence things but with substitutes and whatnot. That makes it, that does have an impact on, on your squad. Um, but we'll work hard, keep your head down and push through, so that's yeah. it. Uh, I mean, we know each other because you used to be a car short and athletic player. And uh, I hear congratulations are in order. You got a little one on it on its way. Yep, a little boy. Um, three weeks to go. Um, exciting times. Pretty stressful, um, but I'm sure once he's here, um, all will be good. And um, I say, give him a little, a little bit of a break for us. Teach him how to head up. So <laughs> I was going to say, you're not getting a younger yourself, and that's going to hit hard, mate. Are you sure you're going to be able to compete? It's you know, you know, it's. 
I'm on I'm on 11 for the year, so I think myself I always have a target of 20. If you get 10 by Christmas, I always score more the other side. When the weather gets a little bit wet, people go missing. That's my time of year for the heavier boys out there. <laughs> um, so I, yeah, I'm on target. I, I think I've got a couple of years left in me. I like to think um, you have to modify your game a little bit, but. Um, I say it's been my the entire career. It's been 20 plus. I, I don't think it's, it's going to change any time soon. So fingers crossed it, it continues. Yeah. Well, you almost got 30 for us in your full season at Colston Avenue. So there you go. Yeah, yeah say tw it's, the target is 20. So once anything past that is always a plus. I mean, last year was 24. The year before that was 25. It's, they're still going in. Yeah. Still going in. I'm still creeping along nicely. <laughs> Not bad for an olden, as they say. 34 and counting, but um, yeah, I'm still going. I've still got a little bit of life in me yet, I'd like to think. Good man. Well, commiserations today, Paul, but well played. Thanks very much, Jim. Have Cheers, All the best. Cheers. Nice. Was there a little bit of a doubt when Jordan saw his penalty saved and then we went 2-1 down? Yeah. Yeah, there was a big doubt amongst the fans. We kept on singing, we tried our hardest, but we were worried because obviously we didn't have Billy's experience in goal and stuff like that. And basically they were just kind of peppering us with shots the minute they could because, you know, of Reese's experience and stuff like that. But we held on, we kept going for them, we kept singing the whole time and we, I think we got what we deserved from the game in the end. And, um, you know, in the last couple of minutes there was corner after corner after corner after corner and it was a real emotional roller coaster. So we were all absolutely overjoyed at the end and screamed our heads off and all the, all the players came over and shook our hands and gave us hugs afterwards and it was a real sort of community environment. It's great to support this club, I love it. And uh, just one final question for yourself. Did you manage to get Manic Street Preacher tickets yesterday? I haven't got Manic Street Preachers tickets yesterday. I was going to ask you about that after the interview. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got mine. Oh, brilliant. OK, well, if you don't mind me joining you once I do get mine, is it at the Roundhouse? No, it's at Wembley. Wembley? Wow. OK, well, I will be getting my tickets, as long as they're not £100 plus, but you never know. But go. yes. Good man. Excellent. Thanks for joining us, as always, Christian. You're more than welcome. Robins Fan TV. Monday night.